Now let's talk about policies. And we have touched on policies in the previous lectures when we talked about mock responses and throttling. And policies simply are XML documents that has a sequence of inbound and outbound statements that is going to control your API. And every time you talk about policies, you need to mention what's the scope of the policy. And if you remember, we've talked before that there are four scopes in your API management where you can apply your policies. Either you can make your policy global by applying it to all APIs in your API management. Or you can apply your policy at the product level and it's going to affect all APIs hosted or assigned in this product, like starter product that has a limit to five calls per minute. Or you can have your policy at the API level, which is going to affect all operations in this API. Or you can have your policy at the operation level, like what we have done in the mock response here, and it's going to affect a certain operation only. Also, it's important to mention that, that inbound processing policies and outbound processing policies ending up to the same policy file. So if we go to the outbound processing, you are able to see the inbound policy that we have specified for the mock response, which is exactly the same in here. However, when we go to a different scope, we are not going to see these changes anymore because we are in a different scope. And you can add policy by clicking on add policy button. And these are the commonly used policies and you can have access to the whole list of policies by clicking on here. And in this section, we are going to cover most of these policies. That's it for this lecture. I hope you enjoyed it and please feel free to join me in the next lecture.